Laurie O'Donoghue from Total Management and Training again. Another whiteboard session about hazardous substances and the last in the session. Today I'm going to talk briefly about storage for hazardous substances and some of the things that we should consider in storage. First of all, eliminate unnecessary chemicals. It is surprising how many organisations have chemicals stored in case we need it later. We should be disposing of any substances that are not currently being used as all they do is create an increased risk within the workplace. Correctly dispose of your empty containers. Depending on what has been in the substance, your safety data sheet might give you methodologies to dispose of your containers. If you've had pesticides or something of that nature in there, there might be a drum collection section at your transfer station. Ensure that your chemicals are clearly labelled. And that means not just the ones that you've got into the workplace that have been provided by your suppliers or the shops. It also means those that we're decanting out making sure that we have got correctly labelled containers for substances decanted within the workplace. We don't use soft drink bottles, for example. Ensure your register of hazardous chemicals is up to date. We should know what is in the workplace in relation to our hazardous chemicals. An extension of that is making sure that our manifest is also up to date if we store large quantities of chemicals. The manifest is the document that the fire brigade will use when they turn up on site to be able to determine how they are going to combat a fire within your workplace. So it's very important that they know where, for example, gas bottles have been stored or where fuel has been stored. Ensure your storage area is clean and organised. That's a pretty obvious one. Good housekeeping is good for managing hazardous chemicals. Ensure incompatible chemicals are separated. Some chemicals, when stored together, will react or if one comes into contact with other, for example, a fire, it could cause an effect with another chemical. So we must make sure that they are not stored incorrectly. And there is actually a table available on most regulators' websites, which will actually give you details of what substances should be stored with what. And if you look at the Australian Dangerous Goods Code in Australia, it will actually give you that information. Inspect storage tanks and containers to make sure that they are in good condition. Remove any food or personal belongings for a chemical storage area. It isn't acceptable for people to be having their morning tea and their lunches in storage areas of hazardous chemicals. We either remove the people from the area or we make sure that we don't store chemicals in their crib rooms. Look at the other sources of risk that might be associated with the chemicals. For example, have we got chemicals stored where vehicles can come into contact with them? Make sure we're storing them clear of that. If there is a potential for vehicles, we might have to look at putting bollards up of something of that nature. Check your storage systems. Make sure your firefighting equipment is suitable for the chemicals you are using and that you have got adequate firefighting equipment. And also, in the event of a spill, make sure that you've got adequate spill kits. It might be that you've got to make sure that we've got, for example, um, bunded pallets to put containers on to make sure that if there is a spill, it will contain it. So they're just some of the issues you should consider when storage chemicals at your workplace. If you like this video, then hit the like button below. Why not share this with your friends and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding these tips and if you are going to implement them. Thank you so much and I will see you on our next video.